Here's a cute little strategy against the Marauder using the microwave beam. We know that you can falter surrounding enemies with the beam's explosion, and this applies to the Marauder. Some players have noticed that the dog can be used as a falter as well. Either of these falters allows for a single hit on the Marauder before he recovers. You can get an easy ballista shot from far away or a super shotgun up close. The damage from the blast falter and a ballista shot is enough to take out a Marauder after two cycles of your typical SSG ballista combo. The bigger the demon, the bigger the falter radius. You can see a zombie faltering him when he's kinda close, but a caco demon faltering him with significant distance between them. You want to do this while he's running with his shield down. If his shield is up and the explosion comes from the left side, he'll be covered by the shield. But on the right side, even with his shield up, his side is exposed. Unfortunately, there's no follow-up opportunity, or none that I've found. I've tried grenades at different timings, and he won't refalter. Apparently, you can't even damage him after the first hit. Watch here, I can actually land a blood punch after the ballista before his shield comes back, and it literally does no damage. I don't know why. Here's the Marauder's life bar after two microwave beam falters and two ballistas, and here's the life bar after two beam falters, two ballistas, and two blood punches. There's no difference at all. So this certainly isn't the strategy you go into a fight with, but you can easily imagine a scenario where things are chaotic and a Marauder dog is coming at you, so you can take him out and get a free hit on the Marauder. Or you're just not ready to set up a Marauder interruption, so you falter him with another demon, hit him, and get out. I'll end this video with a totally impractical Marauder encounter of all microwave beam falters. Make sure you check out my guide to the microwave beam if you haven't already. Enjoy.